Okay, Velo Berlin is the leading consumer bike show in the German capital. And we're here at the offices in Berlin talking with Christoph Schultz. Hi. Congratulations on your 10th anniversary and thanks for making time with us, for us. Can you give us a brief history of Velo Concept and how the show came together uh, with Eurobike? Yeah, we started Velo Berlin 10 years ago in uh, 2011 with, uh, uh, nine years ago, it's the 10th edition, uh, with uh, Messif Grieshafen who ran the Eurobike show at uh, the Lake Constance. And um, Velo Berlin always had the concept of reaching um, the uh, German audience that cycles, but also um, the, the administration and the press and the media and to promote cycling um, towards them and to show the, the newest bicycles to test them and to have a large festival program promoting cycling. Um, it's the 10th anniversary and our third edition at Flughafen Tempelhof since then, so for the last three years it has really grown a lot. So we have uh, more than 300 exhibitors now presenting more than 500 brands and attracting around or hoping that this year it will be more than 20,000 visitors. Oh, perfect. So um, and with respect to the e-bike industry, have you seen um, steady growth and how big is its presence at the show right now? Um, there is a growth in e-bikes at the show, of course, because the e-bikes are uh, like the cash cow of the bicycle industry. And, and also because Berlin still has a lack of e-bikes compared to other cities and especially to the bicycle tourism regions in Germany. Um, so there is still a, a huge market for e-bikes in Berlin and also in Germany. And it is growing, but uh, maybe not as fast as uh, you would imagine because there are still other parts of cycling that are really important to us and um, that we also want to present. So it is um, a big part of the show. Um, but um, it's, we won't be like an e-bike only show in the future. Yeah, good stuff. So um, tell us a bit about your e-bike special zone. Um, well, the, we have like one hangar, which is one large hall of the Temple of Airport uh, dedicated mostly to, to e-cycling e-bikes and also to other like light electric vehicles that are something in between, uh, yeah, electric, not cars, but vehicles and bicycles, yeah. um, but mostly e-bikes um, for all kinds of e-cycling. And um, we will have this year a new test track dedicated um, to, to e-bikes with a ramp to test them with the, 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 the e-motors and um, also with a, a digital registration system. So we're improving in um, yeah, testing the e-bikes so that uh, we can really have a simple access to testing e-bikes at the Villa Berlin. Perfect. And uh, with the continuing growth in the e-bike market, are there any plans to enhance the e-bike component at the show? Um, we, in, in fact, um, we expected to, to still uh, increase a little, but uh, to be honest, our plan is not to enhance the e-bike part of the show because it's already quite big. Yeah. And the, um, we don't want to be, we want to be an, uh, a show for all kinds of cycling and not only e-cycling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. um, so it takes a large part of the show, but, um, uh, but not everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, all the best and congrats again on your uh, 10th anniversary. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Christoph. Thank you.